Johnny Keys TV here, back with another FL Studio tutorial. This is uh, the third installment. Today, it's I don't even know if it's necessarily a tutorial. I'm kind of just going to blab on about the EQ um, and kind of teach you a few different things with the EQ. This is something somebody asked me personally to do, so I figured I would do it for them. So now with your EQ, if you understand your EQ, basically it's to control your range of frequencies within a single sound or loop or whatever you're trying to process so basically you can choose if you want to have your highs focused you can choose if you want to have your lows focused you can clean stuff up you can get rid of hiss or hums the EQ is awesome if you don't use an EQ start now It'll really help you clean up the sound of your music and it'll really help you fit all of your sounds into the space, uh, the stereo space where they should be, where your kick should be, where your snare should be, where your hi-hat should be, all that. Um, whether I'm going to be able to talk about all that today, um, I can't really say. So let's just go ahead and get started here. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start off with uh, a kick drum I guess so let's go ahead and grab uh, a kick drum so I'm just gonna grab something from ill minds blab kits um, let's go ahead and find a kick Turn on my ball. okay so I'm going to choose this kick because it's kind of more focused on the low end and it'll allow me to show you uh, how to work the EQ around a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this kick in. We're going to listen to it a couple times. And as you can see, we're on pattern. We got it in, uh, sorry, not pattern one, but we have it in um, insert one into our mixer. So if we open up our mixer, go ahead and rename that to kick, change our color. Now you can see if we click our kick, it's coming through there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go ahead and select an EQ. Um, my favorite one to use is the Fruity Parametric EQ. So we're going to go ahead and choose that. The reason why I like the Parametric EQ is because it actually shows you what frequencies are coming in or going out. Um, this is coming in if you click here on this this is in this is your out so this is the frequency that's going out so that's actually the frequency that's uh, being processed when we change these so if we wanted to focus our kicks um, we wanted to have it more more of a thump to it your, your kick range just watch where it ranges in your frequency You see, you notice the brightest parts, that's where it's hitting the most. If it's a duller, if it's a duller color, it's not hitting as hard there. So in the higher end here, where it says treble underneath there, you notice you don't really see anything be because it's a kick. Kicks don't really have treble. Um, I shouldn't say that not all kicks have a lot of treble. So it, depending what kind of kick you're using, um, will change your frequency so this one here has a lower frequency so what I want to do is just give it a little more thump and with my EQ I can go ahead and do that now a lot of the time EQs are not for boosting people use them lots for boosting I myself do it all the time just to give something a little more oomph like I'm going to do but uh, most of the time it's for cutting so because my kick does not have a high end it's got like maybe some little fuzz going on there you can see a slight bit of color in there so I just want to bring that down just to get rid of that hiss so it can open up more room for other instruments so I'm just gonna go ahead and bring my five six seven down just a tiny bit give it a slight roll off pretty weird roll off but it'll work so now it's a little more low endy it uh, doesn't it doesn't have that sparkle at the end you can I don't know if you guys can hear the difference yet so now what I'm gonna do is actually take my two and three and I'm gonna raise them I'm gonna raise them slightly 
So what I'm going to do is just bring this up here. And bring this one up a little bit here. So we just want to boost our between the 140 to 300 range, but not a lot because you don't want your kicks over pumping. If your kicks are over pumping, it's going to throw off all your other sounds when it comes time to mix. Um, so another thing that you want to adjust is maybe just roll off its low end a little bit to make some room for the bass. So now we're going to go ahead and play our kick. Now it's really noticeable in that in that 150 to 300 range. So it has a real knock to it. And then when you add an 808, that kick stands out a lot more over your 808. Um, thus giving you more punch and better rolls with your kicks. It just makes it stand out a lot more. So another thing with your kicks when you're also going to mix it besides the EQ is you want to kind of ha have it as the highest thing so if, say if we had our snare and our hi-hats in two and three drop your snare and hi-hats by just a little bit so that your kick is pumping over your other drums so it's the more it's the most noticeable thing also be weary of uh, your instrument volume bring your instrument volume down below your drums um, so your drums really stand out don't be worried about how quiet it sounds because this is mixing it's not mastering we don't need to have it thumping loud right away that that's a whole nother tutorial um so bring yeah bring your instrument levels down so back to the eq so with that we're gonna move on to the snare let's go ahead again i'll just grab a snare any random snare that i can something a little more full just to show you so that one's a little more full more realistic so I'm gonna bring that one in and I'm gonna leave that in effects channel too. go to our mixer rename snare give it a different color all right so now we're gonna bring our EQ onto it parametric EQ 2 check it out see where it's really hitting now we can see it hitting in your low mid range so at the 294 to 632 you can really see it hitting and it's got some high and with your snares you want that mid and high to sparkle so it's quite different than doing a kick it's actually the opposite how our kick was boosted up in this range we want to boost this one up in uh, the 345 range so maybe drop its low end a little bit bring up its 4 and its 5 maybe drop it seven down over this like the opposite of what I did to the base um, and then bring this one maybe down just a tiny bit see it's got a little bit more pop in this range so now we can actually go ahead and uh, we can actually change some of our EQ settings um, we can choose it here if we want it to be more peaked um, or leveled off to the left or leveled off to the right but I'm gonna go ahead and just leave it on peak and also here you can change your what they like to call Q so you can change what range is being pinched off by the EQ um, here is what frequency that specific number is hitting um, you can choose uh, a little better than like this over just grabbing it and moving it side to side um, but if I wanted to give it a little more sparkle and a little more snap in that range, we can just give it a little more cue, tighten that up, and boost it. So it's I want it to a little more high end snap, so I bring it over to the right to give it more high end, more treble. There, now it's got more of a snap to it. We're going to drop our volume just a tiny bit on that, just so it sits underneath a little. So there, um, that's the snare. So now I'm gonna go and grab uh, uh, hi hats. Um, again, might as well just use this. Grab one that's a little more sparkly. This one I'll take again just for the sake of the tutorial. See, it's in channel three, mixer channel three. Rename hi hat. Change the color. 
stay organized. So now our hi-hat's coming through there. We're going to go ahead and drop the EQ. Check out where it's coming through. Now you notice that the hi-hat is coming in through the high end, thus hi-hat. But uh, what we want to do is give that more sparkle. So we're going to actually drop the low end. This is quite the opposite of the bass. So what I'm going to do is drop the low end quite a bit, clean it up a little bit, and then boost its high end. Now you can hear it sparkle a little more. It doesn't sound so tinny. It, uh, so that's with it on, and this is with it off. You notice how there's a lot more low end in it? And I mean, you might like that. This, when you're EQing something, it's all to this perspective of your own ears. I'm not saying that you're going to like the way I'm EQing this stuff. I'm just kind of showing you how to use it. So that's off. that's on so now we have a little more cleaner of a sound so now all of our drums fit into uh, a sound range um, they kind of all have their own position in the EQ so they spread out nicely together so when we actually make I'll make a quick beat here right click fill in each two step maybe change the uh, velocity just a tiny bit here just to give it some more humanism Um, add our snares, add in our kick drums, and then I'm going to add some swing for the fun of it, bring this down, our tempo is it's going to be really fast, so I'm just going to go ahead and bring that down to 85, and listen. There you have it. That's uh, the EQing of drums. Um, just to fit in some more quick stuff here, I'm just going to show you how to maybe uh, quickly EQ a sample. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab a, something from my previous beats that I've made. Um, I'll grab... This one. This is... A, I, I actually never finished this beat, so I'm actually going to use this one because it, it would fit the drum style. So I'm just going to loop this. It's going to be a simple, simple, simple beat. So I'm going to go eight bars. Um, where the hell was that sample? Drag it in. Well, wouldn't you look at that it's already 85 beats a minute but even still just to be safe i'm going to right click set that to whoops sorry it's only two bars so i'm going to set it to two bars hit auto so it doesn't change our pitch dragging all four so now we've got our loop and uh that's our pattern so now let's hit song and uh take a listen oh sorry my bad i'm going to turn down the sample real quick first because it Again, this is master a mastered song. Our drums are not, so it's going to be a lot more powerful than our drums. So I turn down the sample in order for my drums to stand out over the sample. So go ahead and listen. Let's turn up our sample a little bit. It's a little quiet. Let's go ahead and just add some more swing into those drums. Why not? There you have it. EQ in for perverts 101. Johnny Keys TV. Stay tuned for those tutorials.